All right, my boys, YT Dan back at it again with another video. And today I have a ton of complaints, <laughs> news, announcements, questions, <laughs> queries. <laughs> I don't know. I got a lot of stuff going on today. So as you guys know, today is April 15th. Um, it is pretty, uh, it's a fantastic day. Number one, Revival of the Duelist just dropped on Amazon. This book's the ultimate guide to teach you how to play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, my boy. It goes in depth to a lot of stuff. It even gives you like a brief Yu-Gi-Oh history. It lets you know about like previous metas, what was going on with those metas, you know, how people were adjusting to those metas, how those cards had an impact on the current game. And then also we go into like advanced tactical gameplay. We go into deck building. We talk about modern deck building. We talk about the three effect rule. It's just so much stuff that we go into, into this book. I can't give it justice today. I plan on having just a full video series that's gonna be laid out. I had a, a deeper plan to have this like amazing release day video, but components for the video didn't come together so unfortunately that fell apart along with because konami didn't help either throwing in the monkey wrench of banning baron de four and borlo savage dragon that affected that video as well <laughs> so i just had to change things up a little bit um uh, just, you know, certain things that didn't come together. So we didn't get the audio book put together, but we did get everything else out, which I'm very, I'm more than happy and satisfied about, you know, super grateful that we were able to get it together. My team, we were able to work it out. <laughs> it was a hodgepodge of, 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 of select individuals, but it, but it came together. Um, and pretty much like this book has like 13 chapters and we go into a lot of different stuff. And one of the things that a lot of people point out that I've noticed that a lot of people liked about this book is my breakdown of deck types. So I talk, so I talk a lot about different decks and, and how they are typed in Yu-Gi-Oh and, and like I go into aggressive control, etc. And I, and I pretty much just talk about the ins and outs, like what's good about these decks, what's bad about these decks, why do people like these decks? Like what are the advantages of playing with a deck like this, the win conditions, etc. So a lot of people enjoyed that too. So this deck just has, I'm not a deck, this um, book has a lot of information and you can actually read it for free if you have um, Kindle Unlimited. I think it's called Kindle Unlimited. If you have Kindle Unlimited, you can read it for free. Um, and then also you can, um, you know, also buy it. <laughs> buy it, please. <laughs> but also let's talk about that Borlo Savage Dragon Bear on the Floor um, ban, okay? Like I was, I was sh shocked. I was shocked to see it actually banned like normally when i see a ban list like as a like okay a lot of people claim being a rogue player but i guess now that i've gotten through the process of writing the book and and going through all this stuff it really caused me to really think hard about all this stuff but honestly i feel more like i'm like a rogue casual to to, to, to say the very least I mean, that's being pretty generous when it comes to like going to locals, for example. I don't know anything about my locals, so I planned on going to locals this weekend. Oh, uh, not this weekend, this week, uh, which is like Wednesday coming up. And I was going to be getting in there with my locals deck, and um, and instead of playing Valence or playing any other deck that I have, I you know I was just going to play my Tri Brigade. Um, deck and my Trivergate deck use the horse of the floor nice combo that goes into Borlo Savage Dragon and then we use Hop Air Squadron to go in to burn the floor in our opponent's turn and apparently that's way too broken and we get a search with Shurig. That's apparently that's way too broken. Konami had to take away both of those tools. So so I can't use that combo anymore. And and it feels like now uh Horse of the Floral Knights has been read uh restricted to dual links and master duel exclusively and that kind of hurts my soul i really felt like i was getting a, i was getting some momentum here but you know i might have to look at them them, them speed roids you know if i'm really feeling like i want to catch the wind my boy but uh i I've, i'm 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 I've, I've, i'm feeling disgusted 
ass assaulted, <laughs> attacked <laughs> personally with this whole ban. Like, honestly, I looked at that um, two player structure deck that Konami made or whatever that is, two player deck. And that two player deck is garbage. But what's interesting about the two player deck is that it didn't have Baron the Floor and Borlo Savage Dragon. And 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 one of my thoughts was, you know, in this Manadium, whatever this is, like like this little deck that they built, I'm like, why didn't they just put a Borlo Savage Dragon in there? They could have easily put a Borlo Savage Dragon in there and a Link Monster and called it a day, but they didn't. And I was, and, and, and that question was kind of bouncing around in my head. Like I didn't say anything about it, but you know, it just was bouncing around. And then I look up and I see that it's banned and it just kind of hurt my soul. And then it also made sense too. Like I remember back in the day, Konami used to do that kind of stuff all the time would release the card reprinted in some sort of set. And it's playable for a couple of weeks, maybe a month, maybe. And then after that, it's banned. Like, that's literally what they did, I believe, with Black Luster Soldier, if I'm not mistaken, or another one of those Chaos guys, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really 100% remember. It was a long time ago. But they definitely did that with Barone this time because Barone dropped. And I remember when I was selling all my cards, if I, I don't remember, I recorded this video a couple of times, but I don't remember if I mentioned it. But I sold all my cards to help fund, you know, the production of this book. And um, part of selling all those cards was uh, selling, you know, SP Little Knight and et cetera. And um, I noticed that like, oh yeah, I was, I, like, I'm gonna hold on to this Baron because I'm gonna use it in at least two decks. And I think I got two or three Barons. And I was like, I'm gonna use it in at least two decks, which was one deck was like the actual horse of the floral nice deck <laughs> literally needs baron and then uh, and then the other deck i think it was my um valence deck which is like you know they need all the help they can get um i'm just disgusted konami didn't have to do that i feel like konami comes around with that assault rifle every now and again and just blasting everybody but normally <laughs> they don't blast me <laughs> Because, again, road casual, as I defined earlier. But I think um, as I get more serious about the game, then maybe I wouldn't feel so assaulted. But definitely, I'm going to miss Borlo, Savage Dragon, and Bear on the Floor. I'm going to I'm gonna be – I'm sad that I wasn't able to use my combo on Wednesday. I really wanted to play it in person. I've been playing it online so much. I've only really – when I learned it uh, just barely, I only started to play with it in person and then i never really got a chance to use it so so now that that's the thing you know i i guess i just better enjoy it on master duel and uh stuff like that like the other stuff on the band list to me is inconsequential ex except for anti-spell fragrance because i actually was playing multiple copies of that in my tcg deck i feel like konami destroyed my tcg deck it was I was literally running anti-spell fragrance with my savage combo and also brown. Now, I know that's busted, but that was the point. <laughs> that was the point. But my boy, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be back my boys tomorrow to make some more spicy content. Unfortunately, the whole fam is sick. So, you know, your boy is, well, you know, I'm here, but I'm here. You know what I'm saying? But um, check out the book, my boy. Revival of the Duelist, my boy, is right here, my boy. Paperback, hardcover, digital in the ether, my boy. Check it out, my boy. I appreciate y'all as always. Keep it day.